Yeah. So the third light, third eye, right, should have told you um, something about your lecture that was very, very inconsistent with um, the nature, right, of the stardust. Of course, sir, we're made of stardust, right? The bookshelf behind me is made of stardust. The clock on the wall is made of stardust. Um, in Islam, you're told not to eat pork or swine, right? Swine is also made of stardust. So because something is made of stardust, what it actually makes that, Mr. Arlene Bay, it makes that um, a part of, and it makes it in the universe. Doesn't make it the center of the universe. It doesn't make it God. Because if something is made of stardust, sir, and that makes it God, then would not the child molester be God? Would not the murderer, the rapist, the serial killer, right? Wouldn't Donald Trump be God because he's made of stardust too, right? So because something was made of stardust in the collapse of a star that was caused by the depletion of hydrogen, right? Then wouldn't that make us hydrogen beings? And even if we are, in fact, hydrogen-based beings, right? Because it's the common element in most things or most other elements were started from that building block, hydrogen, right? So, sir, what I want you to understand is that we are not impressed by the talks or the pseudo talks that Nature Boy and you guys give about waves and frequencies and different things of that nature because the observation, sir, cancels out the wave. And stardust, again, sir, makes the observation not really an observation because the Moors talk about uh, the zodiac, right? And the zodiac was designed by man observation from the planet and he couldn't see why there was dark spots in between the light points because there was stardust. This is one of the reasons why astronomers don't like stardust because stardust gets in the way. Stardust gets in the way of an observation. Since we're talking about look, listen, observe, and respect, and we found out that in the photon double split experiment, that observation affects the light path information. So stardust also affects the light path information for astronomers when trying to study the universe, right? It's a light blocker. And that's what I found out that you guys are. You pseudo guys are light blockers. You get in the way of the pathway information, right? You get in the way of it, right? Because you don't want us to understand the nuances and the dynamics and the modalities of what the subject is talking about so that you guys can pimp us, sell us $60 lectures and different things of that nature. Because the whole thing about we're made of stardust is the fact that everything is made of stardust. And if I am made of stardust and that makes me God, then it also would make the pile of poop in my toilet stool God. Wake up, family. Stop listening to these scammers. Stop listening to these pseudo teachers out here who are trying to rip you off, right? Because they know that you're just waking up and that's the most vulnerable moment that you have when you're just waking up. Because you're trying to figure out the who, what, why, where's, and when's. And these charlatans come along, right? Children of the Madame Vavlasky movements, right? Children of those weirdos who jumped out the window in the quantum world after finding out what photons do when they're not and when they are being observed.